Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Richard and Margaret from Artist Ensemble Theater. And we are inside the Cheek Theater right now, which unfortunately is empty. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, so if you, just in case people are not familiar with our Artist Ensemble Theater, tell them a little bit about the theater and then we can jump into the new exciting stuff that's going on right now. Well, Artist Ensemble Theater is the professional theater in residence here at Rockford University. Um, we This was supposed to be our 17th season, but um, due to the obvious pandemic, um, that has at this point been canceled until further notice. Uh, and um, like everybody else, we're struggling to make do. Um, you know, we feel for all of the restaurants that are closed, likewise, all the performing arts that are completely shut down and can't do anything. Every musician, every singer, <laughs> uh, every actor, yeah, out of work. Yeah, <laughs> and so in light of these challenges, um, the theater has launched something new. Yes, uh, as we were looking at, it's going to be a long time before we can actually, you know, get actors on stage and, and a full audience in the theater. Uh, we thought, well, what can we do? And we began thinking, we've done a bunch of uh, faux radio shows, and we thought, well, what, can we expand that? And uh, then that led us to doing podcast, which is basically radio on demand. Yeah. Uh, so we... We began uh, exploring this idea and we came up with this idea of taking uh, short stories by famous authors, uh, adapting them into essentially radio plays. plays. Mm -hmm. um, Margaret's been doing all of the adaptations. We record them, uh, edit them, add sound effects, and uh, I've been putting them online for people to listen to. So we did our first recording. Um, we got their first four episodes together. We got the scripts written, uh, built a faux sound studio in a little booth inside the Cheek Theater here yeah, with the blankets and moving quilts. And uh, at one time, Rockford University had a radio station years ago. And although that is long gone, the microphones were still here in a corner of the booth. We resurrected those. They're really great mics and uh, got those on stands and hooked them to a sound mixer and recorded, got the actors. One thing that happens is when you call the actors, they go, yes, I am available. <laughs> Everybody's available Everybody right now. Everybody is incredibly available yes. right now. <laughs> so we recorded our first four plays and uh, an episode drops every two weeks. So we have okay. two of them out now. Fantastic. So the podcast went live just a month ago. Uh, right. Yes. And what's the name of the podcast? What do people search in their favorite podcast player? Uh, Mysterious Journey. And it is available through Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and Stitcher and Overcast and really just all, the, all the things. Yes. Yeah. yeah. All so if you search Mysterious Journey, yes. or you can just go to our website and we have them posted there as well. So yeah, we have um, a player embedded on the homepage because of, given the audience, the age of some of our audience, uh, <laughs> we didn't need to talk about first, you need to download an app on your smartphone. <laughs> right. So right. really, if they can get to our website, they just put click play. And is that the Artist Ensemble website? or artistensemble.org. Artists is plural. Sometimes okay. people get confused about that. <laughs> and on the homepage, it has uh, links to embedded players for both of the first two episodes. And we'll keep those up. At least the last five episodes will always be up on our homepage. Fantastic. And our yeah. first uh, couple of uh, podcasts that we've uh, already recorded uh, include stories by Agatha Christie, Philip K. Dick, who uh, wrote Minority Report and... Um, uh, Total Recall, a great science fiction writer, a Ray Bradbury story, and an L.M. Montgomery story who wrote the Anne of Green Gables stories. So uh, we're, we're doing some really great material. Yeah, the stories aren't a particular genre, although, of course, I'm, we're, there's a lot of mystery and science fiction in there, but occasionally the uh, L.M. Montgomery is just a very funny, very quirky, eccentric love story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, basically I've been haunting the pages of Project Gutenberg's short story collection, uh, looking at reading a lot and uh, writing uh, adaptations for plays. I mean, again, some of the sci-fi stuff, which is very early in the, some of these writers' careers, refers to, like, telephoning to other decks on the right. ship and, you know, and <laughs> using ray guns. It's like we've... we've uh, They're definitely spiced adaptations. Spiced it up, definitely yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's been all kinds of fun with the sound editing with uh, airlock mm. doors and blasters and particle beams and ship-to-ship uh, -ship battles. And, and a nice side effect, too, is we have local actors now who are performing all over the world. 
uh, our yes. downloads. Yeah, we have downloads in England and Germany and in Tokyo, and uh, so that was kind of uh, kind of surprised us. Yeah, that's super fun. <laughs> yeah, that is very fun. exciting. Well, and for I mean, clearly, like podcasts are free to listen to, right? right. But for those that want to con like help, you know, financially back uh, your new journey and help oh, support Artist Ensemble yes. Theater through these rough times, like where can they go to do that? Uh, if they go to our website, artistensemble.org, uh, there's a donate button. There's also our Patreon page and it just says become a patron and you can go and pledge monthly support. Think, you know, public radio. Uh, yeah. There's a $5, $10, $15 and you get bonus content uh, if you are supporting us for the big $15 a month, so. Fantastic, well thank you both so much for taking the time to get together inside of Cheap Theater here and chat. And thank you Rockford for tuning in. Um, yeah, if you miss uh, theater performances, like I know so many of us do, including myself, this is a great way to kind of get your fix and like hold you over until we can be live and in person back here at Cheap Theater and the other venues in and around Rockford. Uh, but big shout out and thank you to all of our business sponsors and backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to talk with people like Richard and Margaret and bring you positive news stories like this one. And uh, thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.